Hey guys, so this is the glove box lock and I thought in order to do this demonstration how you take it apart and put it back together it would be a lot easier for you guys to see if I did it on the workbench and as you can see right now this is in the open position this part of the uh, latch is open and the knob is pointing down. When this is locked, you, you close the door and this grabs onto the striker. It locks the, uh, the, the lock itself in place. And this is now in a horizontal position. So, to unlock it, of course, you turn it clockwise and it releases the uh, the striker post. So, then it would be open. Now, to take it apart, what you want to do is first, you want to put it in the locked position. So, you want to close it all the way in here like this. You want this fully secured up here. That is the closed uh, the glove box will be closed at this point. Now, if you look at the uh, at the assembly, and this section here to one side, you see there's a little channel in here. And inside the channel, there is this darker metal, which is part of the lock ring. And then you see one of the pins back here. It's a lighter shade of silver. What you want to do, if you want to start taking the assembly apart, is to gently, you don't have to use a lot of force, you want to gently push in this pin. It usually stays down, and then you want to start sliding out the knob. When you do that, a second pin appears here. So it is brass. So what you want to do again is push it in and at the same time pull the knob. You see it came out a little bit more. Then there's a pin number three in here. Same procedure. And sometimes they get caught a little bit there. There we go. And when you when you get a certain to a certain point, you're going to see this starts to release because you're taking out the tumbler. So again, you want to push and slide it out. And then number five. Oops, number five. There it is. The tumbler comes out of the uh, of the housing. And of course, there's nothing to hold the the lock or to hold this latch in place, so it'll go back to the open position. Now, one thing that I did, and you may want to do the same thing, is I used some uh, WD-40 to really clean it first, because there's always going to be some metal, tiny little particles. And you can see still some of the stuff is coming out. And uh, this is not going to fall apart. So all you're doing basically is cleaning this portion. And when you remove the, uh, the knob at that point, you can also remove the whole latch assembly out of the vehicle. And this thing is secured by this lock ring here which has a hex shape inside. I don't have anything that actually fits this right, but I'll show you a little trick on how I tighten it. Because sometimes what happens over the years, this starts vibrating and uh, it loosens itself. So then you end up with a noisy glove box door. It's rattling and, and stuff. And this, you know, you have trouble with it. So to avoid this, what you want to do is remove the 
the tumbler so you can actually tighten this lock ring. Uh, and there is pretty basic. There is a spring, of course, and, and again, you don't have to worry about any any of that because if everything is working okay, well, all you want to do is clean it really well and uh, and then put it back together. Now, when you're ready to reinstall it in the vehicle, of course, you're going to hold this from the inside of the or the back part of the of the glove box door and from the exposed part you want to insert the lock ring so just be careful because this is fine threads you want to cross thread this thing and you're going to start tightening this against the door now again if you just leave it like that eventually it's going to work itself loose and uh, it's not going to be you're going to have to <laughs> repeat this procedure all over again what I found out is that by using this set of needle nose pliers what I do is the right length so, so they don't go all the way in and interfere with the with the spring in there. What I do is put it in here close like this until they kind of grab the sides of the uh, of the lock ring and then I just tighten it. And trust me that that is not coming off easy. So Again, this is if you have the right hex tool for this, by all means use that. But even uh, you can improvise with a set of needle nose pliers as long as they are the right length and size. So that would be loose and you can take it off and do whatever it is you need to do to either re repair, replace, whatever, clean. So anyway, if this is ready to be reinstalled, this is the way that this would fit in here and what you want to do is line it up with this little channel here push it in all the way and this of course will go into the lock position to unlock it all you do is twist it about a quarter turn clockwise and it's open so now this is fully secure in place. This is not moving. So again, to remove, you want to locate the first pin, put this in the locked position, right? See the pin pop up there? Push it in, pull this out a little bit. Second pin, third. You can twist it a little bit if you need to, just to get them to come out of there. That's it. And again, reinstalling this, make sure they're facing in the right direction. And push it all the way in until it locks. That is that.